15 celebs who were born filthy rich. Number 15, Bryce Dallas Howard. Best known for starring in notable movies like The Twilight Saga and Jurassic World, acting and money are in her genes. Her dad is actor and Oscar-winning director Ron Howard. With a net worth at an estimated 140 million, Ron's children wouldn't have to work at all. Born into a wealthy and lavish lifestyle, she was already rich before she broke into Hollywood. But Bryce followed in her father's footsteps and landed her first lead role as Ivy in the 2004 thriller The Village. With over 27 years and counting of acting experience under her belt and an estimated net worth of 15 million, she definitely doesn't need to use her dad's name to get where she is right now. Number 14, Balthazar Getty. The ringside band member is the great grandson of Jean Paul Getty, founder of the Getty Oil Company. At one point, Jean Paul Getty was named by Guinness World Records as the world's richest private citizen in the 1960s. Today, the company is valued at over 8 billion, and with such a vast fortune, you could live comfortably for the rest of your life. But Balthazar Getty had a love for acting, and at 14 years old, he won the lead for the 1989 movie Lord of the Flies. With his acting career in full swing, he appeared in numerous films like Lost Highway, Big City Blues, and Deuces Wild. So even without his grandfather's large estate, Balthazar is thriving well in Hollywood. Number 13, Kate Mara. With a net worth of 10 million from starring in movies like Brokeback Mountain and Shooter, it seems like Kate Mara is living comfortably. Even if the starlet didn't pursue a career in Hollywood, she would still be fine either way. The actress and her sister are the daughters of Timothy Christopher Mara, who was the founder of the New York Giants while her mother's family founded the Pittsburgh Steelers. Both families have retained at least partial ownership of both NFL teams since their foundings. Her father and paternal uncles have high-ranking positions and are credited for much of the Pittsburgh Steelers' success, landing the team six Super Bowl wins. Put the two teams together, and you have a combined net worth of $2.32 billion. But the actress has stated that football is the glue that holds her family together. Number 12. Paul Giamatti. When your father is the president of Yale University and the commissioner of Major League Baseball, your life is pretty much already set. His father, A. Bartlett Giamatti, was the youngest Yale president in its history, and even though he passed away shortly after being the new MLB commissioner, his legacy lives on. But Paul Giamatti didn't depend on his father's fortune to reach his goal. The actor first got his big break back in the 1990s and had starred in notable films like The Illusionist, Big Fat Liar, and Straight Outta Compton. With a net worth of 25 million, Million, I think he's doing just fine on his own. Number 11, Ivanka Trump. Way before her dad even became the 45th president of the United States, Ivanka was following in the footsteps of her business tycoon father, Donald Trump. Donald and his ex-wife Ivana have been quite victorious in their endeavors of activities, and as the firstborn child, Ivanka is set to inherit a ton of money. Surprisingly, Ivanka doesn't display the type of behavior you'd expect from being raised in a prosperous family. She is a businesswoman herself and designs her own collections. In fact, her current net worth is estimated at $150 million and I'm sure it'll grow even more. Number 10, Army Hammer. Long before he secured the role of the Lone Ranger or played both of the Winklevoss twins, Hammer hailed from a long line of greatness. His great-grandfather was Armand Hammer, a chief executive of Occidental Petroleum, and his father is an entrepreneur in the film and publishing production industries. Hammer's grandfather was regarded as a prominent figure as he has interest in pharmaceuticals and other ventures. Controversially, during the Cold War, his grandfather continued to trade with the Soviet Union and was involved in the communist and socialist movements. Also, he was an advocate for cancer research. Back in the 1980s, Forbes valued his net worth at $200 million, and in 2015, it was the third largest oil producer in Texas and the 16th largest gas producer in the world. As of 2016, its revenue is at $10.090 billion. Number 9. Carly Simon Growing up, I'm sure the name Simon & Schuster rings a bell. The American publishing company publishes over 2,000 titles yearly, and when your father is Richard L. Simon and the co-founder of the wealthy empire, there's no doubt that you would inherit millions. But Carly Simon went down another career path. Instead, she's a famed musician, producing hit songs like Let the River Run and You're So Vain. Selling over a million record copies in the United States, the singer top charts for weeks. But the singer states she didn't always have a healthy relationship with her dad. In her memoir, she also revealed she blew her inheritance on therapy sessions and took to songwriting and book writing to express her frustrations, which led to good fortune at the end. Number 8. Psy 
With over 2 billion views on YouTube, the Gangnam Style singer didn't make his millions from music, but he was actually wealthy in his own right before he became famous. Hailing from the Gangnam District in Seoul, South Korea, his father, Park Won-ho, is the executive chairman of DI Corporation, and his mother owns several restaurants throughout the district. Sai was actually expected to take over his father's company, and went to Boston University in 1996 to study business. However, when he came to the United States, he lost interest and dropped out to study at Berkeley College. College of Music. Despite a risky career move, he has achieved international stardom, and after the release of Gangnam Style, his father's company doubled, surging to $113.5 billion. So I'm sure there are no hard feelings. Number 7. Nicole Richie The reality star was adopted and raised by Lionel Richie when she was just 9 years old. So even though she wasn't born into wealth, she still grew up in an affluent family before making herself known through reality television. In fact, shortly after her adoption was complete, Lionel's affair with another woman surfaced through the media. Lionel and his wife Brenda went through a nasty split that was the center of tabloids. As a result, they spoiled Nicole as a way to keep her happy. She stated in an interview with Vanity Fair magazine that as a young child she got everything she wanted and a little girl shouldn't have been allowed to have that much freedom. Number 6. Adam Levine As one of the best performers in today's music industry, it's no surprise that the Maroon 5 singer is quite wealthy. Before he even became the band's lead singer, he was already living a comfortable life. Born to Fred Levine, his father is the founder of M. Frederick. The successful retail chain ensured that the musician lived a pretty lavish life, but in recent years, the singer has built his own empire, which includes becoming a winning coach on The Voice, creating unisex fragrances, and designing his own clothing line for Walmart. With his net worth at $60 million, and over 30 million albums sold worldwide, I think Adam's net worth is expected to surpass his dad's. Number 5. Rashida Jones She's the daughter of the Mod Squad actress Peggy Lipton, and her dad is media executive and record producer Quincy Jones. With her parents' combined estimated net worth of $313 million, Rashida Jones wouldn't have to work a day in her life. But as an actress, author, singer, and producer, she is busy making a name for herself. And it doesn't stop there. She's also a screenwriter and co-wrote the screenplay for Disney's Toy Story 4. With an estimated net worth of $10 million, the starlet doesn't need to rely on her parents' fortune to get her by. In fact, her net worth might be more coming from a family of successful actors. Number 4. Paris Hilton Anyone who knows Paris Hilton might argue that she's a spoiled heiress, much due in part to her crazy and pointless antics documented on the reality show The Simple Life. It's no secret that her great-grandfather is Conrad Hilton, founder of the Hilton Hotels, and that her inheritance will be a hefty lump sum. But back in 2007, her grandfather Baron stated his $2.3 billion fortune would go to housing for the homeless, developing clean water in countries and assisting other goods, while the remaining 3% would go to Paris. According to the New York's Daily News, she would have gotten 100 million, but is now looking only to get 5 million. Not to worry, as the socialite has her own estimated net worth of 100 million due to her successful empire of clothing lines, music singles, and perfumes. Number 3. Edward Norton The Fight Club actor's maternal grandfather is James Ruse, who was an American real estate developer, urban planner, and the founder of the Ruse Company. Norton's grandfather has been widely recognized for developing the whole new city of Columbia in Maryland, where Norton was born and raised. As of 2003, the company has a $1.17 billion in sales, and with over 3,000 employees, the company is always expanding. But thanks to Norton's big movie earnings, the actor has a net worth of $70 million he made all on his own. Norton has talked about his grandfather's contributions in public and spoke fondly of his actions. Number 2. Anderson Cooper The famous CNN news anchor had no trouble breaking into the world of show business, as Cooper is accustomed to a life of prominence. Coming from a long line of the prestigious Van Vanderbilt family, his maternal great-great-great-grandfather was Cornelius Vanderbilt. During his lifetime, Cornelius was one of the richest Americans in history and built his wealth in shipping and railroads. Anderson Cooper's mother is actress, socialite, and fashion designer Gloria Vanderbilt. During the 1970s, she was known for producing successful fashion lines, household goods, and fragrances. Even though her son would be well-off inheriting her millions, Cooper's media experience started while he was still in diapers. He began his correspondence work in the early 1990s and worked for ABC News until he worked his way to become an anchor of his own show called Anderson Cooper 360. Number 1. Julia Louis Dreyfus She's best known for portraying Elaine on the hit comedy show Seinfeld, but despite her privileged upbringing, her dad, Gerald Louis Dreyfus, admitted he couldn't have predicted her success as an actress. Her father, who had an estimated net worth of $3.6 billion, managed Louis Dreyfus Energy Services and described his daughter's childhood as fun and carefree. It was thought that she would go on to manage her family's global merchant 
company. With over 72 offices and annual gross sales that exceed over $120 billion, the actress has it lucky. But she made a name for herself and broke into Hollywood all on her own. She studied theater and improv before joining Saturday Night Live at 21 years old, and eventually landing a lead role in Seinfeld in the 90s. By 1997, it was reported that she was earning around $600,000 per episode. Aside from acting, she is also a singer and producer, and she's still paving her way to the top, having a total of 22 nominations throughout her career. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.